Many travelers will be making their way home from Thanksgiving today and this weekend as a winter storm warning moves through much of the country. So what, it, what does that mean for those of you driving or flying? Managing editor at The Points Guy, Clint Henderson, is here to break it down for us. Clint, thanks for coming on. Let's start with the roads. What are the best times to travel to avoid traffic today and through the weekend? So the great news is the worst of the traffic was actually pre-holiday. And so the return home is mostly spread out over the weekend. You want to leave as early as possible in the morning before 11 a.m. is ideal. Uh, and you really want to avoid uh, driving today between 12 and 4 just because of the Black Friday crowd. So that's a little bit of advice. But like I said, the worst is over as far as uh, holiday traffic right now. So how do you think the winter storm warning will affect people's travel plans? You know, fingers crossed, this Thanksgiving has been like last Thanksgiving when things have gone really, really smoothly, remarkably so. I looked it up today, there's only been 33 cancellations, which is almost unheard of in the fall winter time period. So uh, we're doing really good. The interesting test will be like to see if, if the airlines keep up the good news through the rest of the holiday and then into Christmas. Remember last year, Christmas was a bit of a disaster with lots of meltdowns. So Fingers crossed uh, that the airlines will keep up this good track. We have to watch the weather, but so far it's not impacting too many flights. We're starting to see some red in Dallas, so that's one area to watch, but so far so good on flights. So how did the travel rush compare this year so far to previous years? Well, there, here too, there's a silver lining. So because so many people are working from home now, they're spreading out the timeline of their travel. So not everyone's traveling on the Friday before Thanksgiving anymore and then coming home the day after. So that travel is spread out a bit. We did see records uh, on Sunday and Monday for air travel. Uh, so TSA screening numbers showed that we actually surpassed 2019 levels, which gives you some kind of idea of the recovery recover we've seen in domestic travel. Uh, let's see if we can keep that up through Christmas time. So what can we expect for the rest of the holiday travel season and what's the best way to use points on upcoming travel through the end of the year? <laughs> So now is the time to use your points and miles. If you've got any left and you haven't booked those Christmas flights, flights are extraordinarily expensive right now. Uh, I want to go home for Christmas to San Francisco. I will have to pay $1,000 instead of $400 like normal if I want to do it. But I do have a stash of points. So if you can use those points now, they're going to be the most valuable that you've seen because cash prices are so high. So you're getting maximum value right now. Um, other deals we're seeing, though, Europe is on sale. The U.S. dollar is so strong that almost anywhere you go internationally, you're going to find good deals. And airfare is under $500 for coach tickets to many cities in Europe right now. So that's really where the Black Friday deals are, our trips to Europe, South America, places like Turkey, where you can get low ticket prices and the U.S. dollar goes really far so you can have a better hotel, better experiences over there. And Clint, what if you're kicking yourself right about now for not having a points strategy? Maybe you don't have a frequent flyer number anywhere or a good card that gets you points. How do you get started? So pick an airline that you love. If you're in a place like Dallas, it's probably going to be American Airlines because they have the most flights there. And then open one of their basic credit cards. It gets you free checked bags. It gives you a big sign up bonus for next Christmas. So you can use points instead of cash for next Christmas flights. And it gets you better boarding times and things like that. It also gives you a little more protection if, if things go wrong. So that's a good entry point. Otherwise, you want to go with a Chase Sapphire preferred card or something that has points that transfer to multiple hotels and airlines. So those are two beginner steps you can take to ensure the world of points and miles, which is very lucrative sometimes. Taking notes here, Clint. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. You too. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.